session is going to be, I'm just going to make some little retrieves, trying to change the camera angle to hopefully have you see a little bit better what I'm doing when the puppy comes in. I'm really trying to get um, a good delivery early on. And so that's one of the things that we're working on is, so my routine, I wanted to show you the whole routine too. So she's been laying on that place all morning. She's antsy. She's got a lot of um, energy right now. She pooped about 10 minutes ago. So she ate a couple hours ago. She, went to the, she pooped already. Um, I want to let her out to go to the bathroom and pee if she has to. So I just did that. If she comes back in, um, <clears throat> she's going to get a drink right there. But she's got such high energy and part of it is, is because we haven't had a lot of time to do a lot of stuff, constructive stuff. Um, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. We haven't done any type of training session yet. Um, so part of what I'm going to do is use her excitement and energy. I'm going to use this to almost act as a little bit of a barrier. She still could get around it very easily, but it looks intimidating. She can check it out, good girl. But I'm just gonna make a few puppy retrieves. I've done this a couple times now um, with, the, with these puppy dummies. I've got a new dummy that I'm working on, a prototype that I'm working on right now. I, I think that what we use makes a difference in, to a degree of how they develop their position as far as their hold and what they do with it when it's in their mouth. From a chomping standpoint, from a soft mouth standpoint, I think that the dummies themselves are pretty important. So we're experimenting with a few different designs and, and making some modifications. Come on, come on. Just a simple recall. Good. She's real good when I'm down on the ground. She's not nearly as good when I stand up. So I sit on the ground. We're just gonna continue to shape the behavior. Eventually we'll move to our knees probably. Now she knows a little bit of the routine that's coming because when those dummies come out, she is getting pretty excited about it. Just read an article last night, a real interesting article about pointing dogs and retrieving and how it was something that was bred into them for a long time, not bred into them for a long time. It's kind of been an ebb and flow and it also depends on location geographically. Some, some traditional setters, setter trainers or breeders do not want them retrieving. So I'm doing, we're talking back to like the 1600s, 1700s, 1800s, 1900s. So I'm not just talking about here in the States in the last hundred years, um, but there's a been a shift in it. So I'm gonna let her move off a little bit. Here. Recall in, I'm on my knees. She comes nicely to me, real good. So we're working on that. We're working on that, getting that better. Recall is so important. <clears throat> We ran through some hurdles with her with recall and she didn't want to come to me uh, for a little spell there. She saw how easily she came in from outside. I went through about two week window there where I couldn't get her in, inside. Frustrating um, to the point where we had to put a lead on her to walk her out to go to the bathroom because it just saved me 20 minutes of trying to get her to convince to come back in the house. Let me reach up here. You can see she does get excited. I am working on a little bit of steadying with her. Early on, I didn't even worry about setting this with her uh, because I couldn't get her to even chase an item. Then we went through our, our food thing and we had her doing that. You'll have seen that already if you watch the series. Now I'm working on steadying her up. Easy. 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 I want a little pause. Makina. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Good girl, I'm not, I'm not grabbing onto her. I am guiding her in. As you see, she's got the dummy in her mouth the whole time. So I'm gonna help, help her with it, take it from her, give it right back to her, good. This is the part that I couldn't, I don't think you could see it very good from when the camera was down there, when the camera was above me. I don't wanna let her start put pawing at it and starting to chew on it a little bit. I'll t give it to her as long as she holds it nicely. I don't want her down on the ground with it pinned to the ground. So if she holds it nicely like that, I'll encourage it. Good. Good girl. And I'll take it and I'll just roll, roll her gums or roll her teeth up out of the way. She's got those needle teeth. Good. If she wants to take it, I'll let her take it. Good. As long as it becomes not an issue from there on. So she's holding it nicely, but if she were to chomp on it, play with it, shake it, want to kill it, then I'd take it away and I'd discourage that. 
easy, 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 easy. Makina, Makina, good girl. Sending her on her name just like a little Labrador. Now she comes up to it. She, I can't, don't know. Good, good girl. Oh, come on, come on, come on. That's it. She's got this hesitation out there with the sunlight coming in. And it's a visual barrier. Good girl. Come here. Come on. There's a little hang up. Good. Encourage it back with recall. Reposition it nicely. She, she had it will offset one way. I don't, this is a very light dummy on purpose. Um, so she can grab she can grab it on the ends easily and carry it without having balance issues. Good. You notice I'm not reaching for the dummy. I am caressing her, touching her, letting her know she's leaning into me. I like that. I won't like this in the, you know, down the road, but right now I like it because I couldn't get her to do it before. Good girl. Let's go to this one. A little bit further toss. Now this one's gonna be a little challenging because it's in the sunlight. She actually sits down for this one. I'm okay with that. We haven't worked on sit much. I'm gonna stand her up. Good, easy, easy, easy. Makina. Good girl. There, good dog, get in that sunlight, good. That's real bold for her to go in there like that. Good girl, jumps right in, happy, good dog. Good girl, good, I'm encouraging her to hold it and not fuss with it, not head shake. There, she's swinging, ah, 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 ah. I don't want that head shaking, I don't want that chomping, I don't want her pinning it to the ground. I'll take it from her and give it back. Good. I want her to understand, I'm going to encourage the idea of sharing. She's not real prone to dropping, so with her head down, I'm okay with it. If she was real prone to dropping, I'd get underneath it, and I'd raise her chin up. Good. Because you can't drop it, even if you open your mouth at this position. Good. If you hold it up high, there's no dropping. Good. So I'm not forcing anything right now. I'm just encouraging it to be shaped the way I want. Good. Good. Take it away, give it back. She takes it real nice. Good. We'll go for one more and that'll be it. Good. This one's way in the corner. Akina. She's gonna take a little bit to get in there. Good girl. That's a good dog, come on. A little timid to pick it up there. There, readjust. See how she readjusted on the dummy? Good girl, come here, come on, come on. Good, 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 good. I don't, I tripped her so she's down on the ground with it. Get her up off of the ground. Don't let her pin that thing down to the ground. Let her stand and hold. Good. Good. Pet her up. Don't you head shake. Good. Easy. Easy. Good. 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 Dead. 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 Good girl. Now when I had to kind of pry out a little bit. She's really stoked about this. I love how she went in. Picked that one out of the corner, had herself tighten the corner, took a little bit more confidence. She leaned in, grabbed a hold of it, brought it to her, and then repositioned. So the way they're picking it up is she's picking it up by the end. She dragged it to her. She turned around, and she got it in the center. I think it has to do partly with the dummies. I think it has to do partly with that's all she's ever known. We've never let her carry it funny. We always want to carry it properly. When I say properly in the center and balanced, nice balance of not chomping, not loose and dropping, not flipping and playing, not head shaking, and right back to us. Using this little corridor to kind of line her up and make it easy on her. Good. You'll get her to look at those dummies. Good girl. She loves it. So remember, for the first couple weeks, I couldn't get her to chase anything. Not a tennis ball, not a dummy, not a balled up sock. I'd roll it out. She had no interest in it. And then we took that food and you can look back on the old episodes and we started playing a game of chase the food down and get it, chase the food down and get it. And that kind of like unlocked this, this natural thing inside of her. And then all of a sudden we transferred to the dummies. Um, and so we were using food to go out and chase and get a treat and then come back and I'd give you another one, run out, come back, run out, come back. And then we just swapped the food for the dummy and that seemed to work real well. So from here, my next move with her is either in the kennel or on her place. She's got to have time to think about this. So I'm going to probably actually put her in the kennel because she's been on that place all morning. And I want her to put this in the memory bank. I want this is a really good session. So we want to build off of it. So just trying to share some real candid 
stuff that I would do and squeeze in in five, 10 minutes with her um, so that you can see it. I know it's not as formal. I don't know that, I don't know that you gain as much from our formal stuff. There's stuff to be gained from that. And there's, there's then there's a stuff to be gained from a GoPro and just real, real catch it in the moment. And so we're going to, with my, this Makina series, we're going to be giving you a combination of both. So hope you hope this helps you guys. Um, Keep watching as she develops here. 14 weeks old. Um, I think she was 14 weeks old on Monday. So 